Of you dork. They don't step on my. Shh. What is it? We got company. Look. It, it's scary. You think? Yeah. It's it's probably some costume he got at his dad's store. Yeah. He's probably just trying to spook us. Yo, Gary. We know it's you. Cut it out. Cut what out? If you're here. Th then, who's the guy with the hat? <sighs> did, did you do that? Yeah, okay. I confess. Man, you really had us going. <sighs> what is all this? I, uh, found it in a trunk in my dad's store. Help me out here, Sam. It was supposedly worn by a strange order of monks hundreds of years ago. Cool. Yeah. Legend says these guys were truly evil. Stories say they had this magical power to take over people's minds and control the forces of nature. Obviously, they're not around anymore. But I had this idea. What if these mystical monks had so much magical power that they learned how to control the one thing that would make them dangerous forever? Time. Submitted for the approval of the Midnight Society, I call this story Tail of the carved stone. Alice and Denny and her family just moved into town. It's tough being the new kid and having to make new friends. Allison knew that. What she didn't know was just how dangerous making a new friend was going to be. I hate this place. Why do we have to move here anyway? TJB was here. Well, TJ, I wish you still were. I wish anybody was here. Friends, clutch. Where am I supposed to find another pair of these? on the toe. So, <laughs> what are you looking for? A potion? A rare book? 
A priceless magical object that only I can provide? No, I just need another pair of these. That'll be three fifty. You sure there's nothing else? Have you seen our vomit? Excuse me? How's about a crystal ball? No, thanks. You're not from around here, are you? No, we just moved in last week. The old brown brick house on Maple Lane? New kid, eh? Oh, well, then. I don't suppose I could interest you in a flask of popularity potion? Are you serious? A popularity potion? Wait! Right. I just bought this for... I mean, um... I've searched the world over for the curios contained in this... chest. Observe. Uh, be something. I mean, um... <laughs> where is that potion? Ah! Aha! That's not a potion. No, no, of course not. It's much better than a potion. It's a, it's an Egyptian friendship stone. Let me see. How does it work? It's quite simple. Um, you just uh, hold it in your hand, close your eyes, and Recite the ancient Egyptian spell. Amrak. Vitulin. Ra. Amrak. Vitulin. Ra. Yes. And then what? That's it. Presto! You'll have more friends and you'll know what to do with. I don't know. How much did you say this was? Well, it is very rare and very powerful. It's practically a steal at, um... Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars? Forty. I distinctly said forty. Forty. Forget it. Uh, no, wait. Uh, how much have you got? Uh, after the glasses, I've got seventeen dollars and seventy-five cents. Sold. But I'm losing on the deal. Uh, yeah, I am. <laughs> well, you were outside before and you dropped these. Fun? That's what you called us to come all the way over here for? Some stupid glasses? Well, yeah. I mean, I'm new and I, I thought we could, you know... Forget this. Get a life, okay? Come on, Don. Well, thanks. Bye. Sure. Loser. Egyptian friendship stone? Yeah, right. Hello? Hello? Anybody? Anybody here? Hello? Hey, Mr. Sardo, are you okay? That's Sardo. No. Are you sure you're all right? Fine. Well, I think I want a refund. Okay? Please leave. The store is closed. But your sign says you're open until... Did you hear what I said? I command you to leave at once.
<sighs> For the last time, shopkeeper, where is the amulet? I told you, I don't know. It was in this chest which you snatched from its hiding place just this very morning. I didn't snatch it, <sighs> and I haven't seen any amulet. But if it's charms you're interested in, why don't you look into my eyes? Do I have to look, you babbling mortal, into my eyes? I seek the amulet of Ankara. It is a most unusual black stone, elaborately carved. <gasps> what have you done? I sold it this afternoon. You sold it? To whom? To the new girl. New girl? She lives in a brown brick house. Brown brick house? In Maple Lane. Maple Lane? It was. Yes. It was. Yes. It was. Yes! Her! gonna see? Oh. <laughs> yeah, I, I'm making lots of friends. <laughs> okay. Well, you guys have fun at the movie. Yeah. Okay, bye. Egyptian friendship stone. Well, if you're a friendship stone, then I'm Madonna. <laughs> Alison, Alison Denny. Look at me, Alison. Look into my eyes. Gaze into my eyes. Who are you? What do you want? I believe you have what I want, Alison. Just keep looking into my eyes. It's the amulet I want. I need the amulet. No, go away. Yeah, stop. Go no further. No, 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 no. Oh, oh. Ah. flying out of my mirror. Your mirror? Who are you? I'm Thomas Jefferson Bradshaw, and this is my grandmother's house. <laughs> no, this is our house. We moved in here last week. Are you sure of the address? 15, 15 Maple, Maple Lane. Lane. Wow. Something really weird just happened. I want you to leave, now. Miss Jefferson Bradshaw. This is my room, but it's different. Listen, Tom, I'm Allison, and I think I've got some kind of magic stone. <laughs> magic stone? This. It changed the mirror, and I saw you. Like it opened a door to a different dimension, or a different. What's the date today? March 13th. Yeah, but what year? What year? Don't you know anything? It's 1892. <laughs> you serious? 1892? That's over 100 years ago. Tom, this stone let me travel back in time. This is my house. Only 100 years ago. Golly, sounds like a story Jules Verne would write. Yeah, or Steven Spielberg. Who? I 
believe this. I mean, look at this stuff. Oh, those are my parents. What's that? Shh. That's my grandmother. If she wakes up, she's gonna cane me. That's terrible. What about your parents? Oh, they died when I was younger. I was the only child. Really? I'm an only child, too. What about your friends? I don't have any. My grandmother never lets me out of the house. You're kidding. That's gross. Were you allowed to bring friends into this house in your time? I would have if I had any. I'm not exactly Miss Popularity. Allison, are you really from the future? Yeah, I guess I am. Golly jeepers, it must be wonderful. Hey, why don't I show you? How? Well, we'll go back the way I came, through the mirror. I mean, oh, this could be great. I could take you to a movie and, and get a pizza. pizza. Man, you're gonna die when you see video games. Die? I don't want to die. I didn't mean die as in, like, checkout time. It's a figure of speech. Come on. Checkout time? Will it work with any mirror? I don't know. Let's see. What's wrong? Well, there was this really horrible man outside my house. He wanted the stone. Yeah, well, don't worry. I got a cracker jack. <sighs> Shot. Okay. Well, we gotta go through sometime. Yep. Cheers. Oh. <laughs> it's... it's my house! And mine. All right. Our house. So, what does the future look like? <gasps> ah! Don't scream. You'll wake the neighbors. You're not the man. No, it's okay. What are you doing here? I came to warn you about that stone. It appears it really is a powerful amulet. Yeah, I found that out. It seems it belongs to a rather nasty fellow by the name of Brother Septimus. He was supposed to have been hanged in the 15th century, but now, unfortunately, it seems... Get me the amulet! What do we do? This way! Oh, you will suffer the torment of eternal pain for having lost me, Mr. Shopkeeper. Ah, eternal pain seems rather harsh. Yes, but I'll not be denied any longer! Why do you retrieve the amulet? I shall slice open your miserable carcass and serve it to the plague rats of the abyss. <sighs> Ouch. Hey, mister! Look what I have! Why, uh, you impertinent little... Are you... You will pay, child! What happened? Come pay. on! You better help Tom get out of the future! Help! I don't even know what's going on! Come on! When you hold the amulet next to a mirror, it opens a door through time. A door through time? This could be worth millions. Look, we have to get Tom before Septimus does. Not so fast, not so fast. Now, if I could just get past that horrid demon person, I could turn this into a small fortune. Oh, but it's still a huge fortune. Mr. Sardo, wait! That's Sardo. No, no, skip it. How does it work? Like this? <laughs> I grow so weary of this game, child. You know not the power with which you deal. You will suffer for having toyed with me. Leave her alone. I got you, Rock. You pathetic little urchin. <laughs> You believe you are a match for me, you and your little toy? 
<laughs> All fall on their knees before me. Don't look into his eyes. Even death himself bows to me, the great Septimus. See, I need the amulet. It was so much easier traveling through time to claim my victims. I have gone far too long without one. You shall have the honor of being my next. <laughs> Check out time. Where's the stone? You got it, didn't you? Finally made a friend. Goodbye, Allison. Goodbye. Have a good life. My, what an interesting twist of fate. <laughs> what? What is it? and Tom, friends forever. The amulet was gone. Brother Septimus was never seen again. And Allison would never forget the first friend she made in her new home. I declare this meeting of the Midnight Society closed. Next time. Yeah. Stay here. Stay here.